on September 15th, the Ethereum merge officially went live. This is an absolutely massive milestone for the Ethereum ecosystem and can change the future of crypto moving forward. In this short video, I'm going to go over what the Ethereum merge is and what it means for you both as an investor and as an Ethereum user. As always, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. The last video has over 7,000 views and the channel is almost at 700 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So I just want to thank you guys and let you know that I really appreciate it. Now, let's get to the Ethereum merge. The main purpose of Ethereum's merge is to transition over from a proof of work model to a proof of stake model. The previous proof of work model, which is similar to that of Bitcoin's, is secured by miners who run hardware to earn percentages of transaction fees. This method uses a lot of electricity, which makes it a very expensive, non-environmentally friendly model. In comparison, the proof of stake model is secured by validators who stake or lock their Ethereum to help validate and secure the network. The transition to a proof of stake model makes Ethereum more energy efficient, more secure, and it sets the first steps towards a sharding system, which will be implemented in 2023 and will help validate more transactions simultaneously. The changeover to a proof of stake model is something that Ethereum has been wanting to do since it originally launched and decided to separate this transition into two separate parts. While still running their proof of work model, they set up a parallel beacon chain, which was running a proof of stake model. This parallel chain, the beacon chain, could be tested without affecting the Ethereum chain. The second part of moving Ethereum from a proof of work to a proof of stake is the Ethereum merge. This is when the parallel running beacon chain merges and becomes one with the consensus of the Ethereum chain. Since the beacon chain launched in December 2020 until the time of the merge, there were over 400,000 validators and over 13 million Ethereum, which helped validate the network. This almost two year gap between the first part and the official merge gave time not only to find potential flaws in the chain, but also gave Ethereum users time to stake their Ethereum and begin validating the network. Now, this may just sound like a bunch of random words and concepts, but this is actually pretty significant for us as crypto users. It's no secret that Bitcoin is the most popular cryptocurrency. It's basically a household name at this point. Almost everybody around the world has heard of it. But once you start doing any type of research into cryptocurrency, you'll see that one of the leading conversations and topics is whether Ethereum can surpass and overtake Bitcoin. Bitcoin will forever be the first of its kind. However, Ethereum was like a new sports car exciting and offering something new compared to the traditional Bitcoin. Ethereum came with a whole slew of features that Bitcoin simply didn't have. The entire NFT craze was on Ethereum, the use cases were much larger, and other coins were already building on the Ethereum ecosystem. That's why the argument that Ethereum could potentially overtake Bitcoin for top spot was, and now with the Ethereum merge complete, is even more valid than before. Some of the big downfalls of Ethereum were the insanely high gas fees, which is basically just another way of saying transaction fees. If you're trying to mint an NFT that had a lot of hype surrounding it, you could potentially spend hundreds of dollars on gas fees just to see your transaction fail. This gas fee would be lost forever and you would be left without the NFT you were trying to buy. This understandably was a huge turnoff for many people, resulting in them looking towards other chains for NFTs and their financial transactions because they simply couldn't afford the high gas fees that were on the Ethereum ecosystem. With the merge complete, the gas fees won't be lowered right away, but this does open up possibilities for optimizing gas fee solutions in the future. Ethereum is looking into introducing a sharding system, which would allow up to 100,000 transactions per second. This would help make the blockchain less congested, resulting in lower fees through layer two ecosystems such as Polygon, for example. This is beneficial for us as users and for businesses that would look to transact using crypto because now they won't be scared or put off by the previously high gas fees that Ethereum had. This will make Ethereum more accessible and will only increase the number of users that it has. Another very important aspect of the Ethereum merge is the environmental impact that it's going to have. The proof of work concept that Ethereum was running before is the same as the one Bitcoin uses where miners are required. Mining is a process that requires some pretty serious tech hardware and a whole lot of energy. It's believed that through Ethereum's switch to proof of stake, this is going to be saving 0.02% of the entire world's electricity usage. 0.02%. Take that in for a second. Now, even if this is just a theoretical number, it's still crazy to think that something that was using so much energy before to run is now doing the exact same thing without using that energy. Of course, you can argue that people that were mining before and already have these setups aren't going to just stop mining. They're going to move over to other coins that allow mining, such as Bitcoin, for example. But still, Ethereum itself does not allow mining anymore, which in theory is saving a whole lot of energy. 
Through this merge, they're doing their part in making our environment greener and essentially reducing the amount of energy needed to run their ecosystem. And if that's not amazing, I don't know what is. Good job, Ethereum. The merge isn't some crazy event that caused the entire crypto market to skyrocket. In fact, many people may not even have been aware that it was going on. But when we look back in a couple years to the history of Ethereum, this will definitely be seen as a large milestone for all that it will continue to achieve in the future. Thank you guys for watching this short breakdown. As always, I do hope that you found it useful. And if you did, maybe share it with some friends because it really does help out the channel grow. Thank you again and see you next time.